Libra, O oh Libra, what's popping in the life of a Libra between the 1st and the 15th of February? Hmm. Are y'all thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking? Because that's, that's the energy that I got for you guys. <laughs> really reflective and thinking about the same shit over and over and over. You have to release my babies, all right? Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time watching my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time watching my channel, a little disclaimer, I cuss, all right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better assist you and resonate with you better without cussing, all right? Um, don't, change the don't change the fact that I love you. In fact, I love you more. I love you a long time. All right. Uh, this will be for my sun, my moon, my rising, my Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra for the first half of February. Currently, I'm only doing emergency readings. That information will be found within the description. This is just a uh, general. It's not personal. Um, if this does not resonate with you, do not personally take it upon yourself to let me know some negative shit in my comments because I'm just going to block it. So save us both the time and I do that shit. All right. Um, you guys. Thank you so much for all of my likes, my shares, my subscribes to the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. We are the dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. Oh, we cuss, but we share. We love. We evolve. We grow. We enlighten. Posy vibes only over here. Again, if you need a personal reason, that information will be found within the description below. I am going to open up regular readings again on the 3rd of February um, as I'm actually working on some other endeavors in my life. Got some little hood problems going on. No, nothing that the kid won't shake and bake. You understand? So let's rock without further ado. All right. So the intuitive messages. I'm going to start intuitively what I got for Libra when meditating on your energy. Um, and if this may resonate, the intuitive messages may or may not resonate with you all. Take what does, um, leave the rest. All right. So for Libra, I got communication, restricted, domestic violence, balance, renewals, spiritually protected. Releasing new path, family matters, forgiveness, and new love. Okay? So I definitely feel like Libra, some of you guys are definitely caught in the vine, a rock in a hard place mentally, and well, more so in the mental space because the energy that I felt, my head began to hurt a little bit. Y'all know, I be about the shit. I'm litty, all right? My head wasn't hurting. I was just damn fine. Woke up this morning drinking me some Welch's we'll Sparkly Red and Grape. The inner child in me, but we're going to keep it popping, all right? So, you guys, um, your angel messages, and it, it did kind of resonate with the uh, with the cards that I did that did fall off for you guys as well. The Your first message comes from the Doreen Virtue Oracle Angels card, okay? But Oracle messages, y'all don't give me the line. I don't even want to pull out the box. I believe it's the Oracle deck, um, the crystal. Crystal, you know, y'all, most of y'all be reading y'all shit. You know what I'm trying to say. I don't make the cards. I just read them. Right, the message that you guys got was topaz. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. Let it go, baby. Let it go. A lot of you guys are in this mental mind, in this space of knowing what you need to do, knowing how you got to do it, but it's just somebody don't want to be the bad guy. And that's okay. That's totally okay. As well as change, you know, that abrupt change, some of us aren't ready for it. I have a Libra rising, by the way, so I can totally attest. You guys' readings resonate with me a lot most of the time, all right? So we're going to rock it. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Libras in love for the first half of February? First to the 15th, February 2019. Rising Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Libra in love. What can they expect, Spirit? Oh, hold on, I don't like that. I expect in love. We have, oh, oh Libra in love. I feel like y'all trying to just get shit together. I'm trying to fix my shit. You know, y'all coming in, you coming in, shuffling my damn, ruffling my feathers and shit. And I'm simply just trying to fix my shit. All right, so let's get it. Yeah, some of you guys, they go that new love. Some of you guys are on the brink of new love. I definitely feel like you're in this beautiful sensual, more so feminine energy during this time, and you just really knowing what you deserve, knowing how to go about getting what it is that you want, your needs fulfilled. However, some of you guys could possibly be um, in your head about it because it's involving someone from your past, someone who you've dated before. This could also be a past life union, someone who you also have children with, or some, some of you guys may feel during this time 
tra stuck or trapped in a situation, okay, due to the fact that there is children involved. You know, you really don't want to. And I feel like it, I'm hearing tradition, so this could have to do with traditional beliefs, okay? Someone feels like there should be um, a structure of a mother, a father, you know, or same sex. What, whatever really floats your boat, I definitely feel like there's some type of family structure. And instead of looking at how you feel, you're kind of looking at, you know, what's best for everybody's fairness. I feel that for some of you all, though you have this option to move forward as far as new love, okay, you or the other person that you're dealing with has options. I feel like the energy, one of you actually wants to fix it and the other person just wants to just get, get, grasp it, put on, pretty much the other person wants to, they wish they had fucking wings, Libra. They wish they could fly far, far away. This is you or the other person. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the sign of Pisces. Some, some of you guys have new love that's a Pisces or a Cancer. For some of you all, um, could also be Scorpio. For some of you all, you could also be trying to work it out or work on a relationship with an earth sign. You want this renewal. You want to start over, but things may feel a bit stagnant during this time because I feel like one person is willing to put in the work and the other person is dead ass hung up over. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I don't want this anymore. It does not make me happy. It does not fulfill me. I want to focus on my dreams, my endeavors. But some of you all, you really, some of y'all may have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in your energy. This may be the person who you have children with but you feel stuck to the matter simply because of your children even though you have so much love for possibly someone new in your life or this could definitely i got strong water vibes here y'all this could definitely be cancer pisces scorpio and i feel like for some of you all and some of y'all some of you guys could um actually receive a message from someone coming in this could also be a sagittarius y'all strong emphasis on fire leo um Aries and Sag as well, but I feel like you're in love with this person. You really want to move forward and work on the issue, work on your foundation with this person. However, what what makes you feel stagnant in it, for some of y'all, it's due to a marriage. Some of y'all are legally married, and some of you guys are really moving forward to some of y'all moving away from a marriage, and this has to do with your own personal truth, your authenticity. What matters to you? What do you want, Libra? Sometimes what's best for everybody else is not going to make you happy. And ultimately, you have to live with that. I mean, so like I told, I forgot what sign I told that to. Man, look out. Don't go with no woulda, coulda, shoulda. If your ass had the opportunity and the choice to be happy, you better make that damn choice to uh, get it how you live. Yeah. Some of you guys could definitely, um, some of you guys could definitely be going through some sort of renewal. For those of you, some of y'all are tied to a Virgo, and I feel like you don't trust this person. This person is extremely sneaky. For some of y'all, this person have put you in some form of a third party before or some form of making you feel like as if you're the damn option, even though you were home at. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like some of you guys are just like, yeah, I love you, but the only thing that's keeping this relationship afloat is passion. And some of you all... Some of y'all feel stuck even in your work environment during this time. I feel like you're doing the best that you can, but you feel like you're just putting in efforts for what? You know, I feel like legacy and leaving solid foundations for your kids, for your kids, kids, for generations to grow on really, really matters to you during this time. That's pretty much where your focus is as far as the finances. Some of y'all could also, some of y'all need to spread your wings financially because I feel the spirit is, <coughs> excuse me, assisting you all with um, some type of like, financial assistance or some type of like some you guys are creating new revenues involving your life purpose during this time and for some of you all you feel stuck due to your obligations to a family situation and you kind of beating yourself up some of you guys want to be as selfish as other damn people are in your life and i feel like you more worried about you know who it would hurt who who it would affect and it's really breaking your own heart and a lot of you guys I really, really, really feel that for those of you who have been feeling stuck, you're working on moving forward during this time. You're working on moving forward to what it is that your heart wants. You're working on moving towards love, even if it means that you have to go in solitude out of a marriage or really, you know, make those moves to transform your life and start over by actually making those moves. Go get you a damn lease agreement. Go ahead and get, go speak to somebody about, um, go get you some damn divorce papers. How serious are you? I literally just saw 911 on my screen when I said, go get you some damn divorce papers. Some of y'all are about fucking tired of being connected to somebody. And some of you all could be, uh, during this time finding out that some of y'all want to move towards an Aries person. You have love for this person. However, some of y'all also have this little fear of rejection or fear of this person kind of turning their back on you. You just came out of a situation where you just like, uh-uh, no, I'm not ready yet. I literally hear I'm not ready, not ready. You're not ready. You need to really focus on 
fulfilling your own desires during this time for those of you who are disconnected for someone if you got new love already definitely i looks it looks good to move towards new love because i definitely see you have everything in which you need in order to be successful but you are going to it's going to be at the expense of i'm not going to lie to you breaking somebody else's heart libra for some of y'all you're going to be finding out information regarding the virgo that could actually break your damn break you down like a bicycle and this could have to do with the leo as well I feel like somebody went in this state of solitude because they wanted newness and in the midst of that or some y'all could actually some y'all could have been married to a slick ass Leo as well. You could be separated from this person, you could have moved away from this person, or this could be a Sagittarius Aries, but I definitely feel like somebody's a smooth talker and you really don't want to find yourself in that place of sadness, in that place of regret, in that place of fears anymore. For some of you guys, you've worked on that and I feel like in order to truly, truly, truly renew you know, the relationship, if this is a renewal or a reconciliation, is to truly forgive the situation. Son, you gotta, you can't get angry and go back to what somebody did in the past. That is no longer going to be a damn safe place. A, 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 um, I would call it a safe threshold because somebody is definitely a victim. And I feel like they do this in order to make excuses for the fact that they're juggling and you just want something new. It is what it is. Who gonna whoop your ass? At the end of the day, real, real G, Libra, but when you get to beating yourself up about all of this, I want you to stop and think. Because if you're doing it for the children, this is some real shit. If you're doing it for the children, understand that in the midst of beautiful times, happy times, as well as chaotic times, them damn kids ain't crazy. You don't think energy is real. You don't think they know what time it is. You don't think they know what's going on. Take it from somebody who grew up in that shit, okay? You know what's going on. Kids always know what's going on, and it will affect them later. And it's about breaking cycles and explaining to them how important it is to not allow you to get lost in the sauce of one person to the point where you lose yourself or you feel uncomfortable with making moves that is best for yourself because of what you're used to. Never give a person that much fucking power where, you, where they feel like you need them So because and, and they work off of them damn, um, they work off the illusion of hope based on the need and the power that you put in their hands. Don't get a damn snake venom to bite you later, baby. That even go with who y'all telling y'all business to. During this time, watch who you telling your business to. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with also uh, the sign of Gemini. Or some of y'all could also be trying to work on a twin flame relationship, possibly with the Sagittarius person, an Aries person. But it's going to be after a tower moment. Some, something, someone, someplace, some, some, some damn now. Got to get left behind in order for you to go live your best life, period. All right. So let's clarify some of this major arcana because y'all got a lot of it. This is definitely affecting you majorly. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with Leo, um, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini, Capricorn is here, um, Virgo is here. Um, cancer's here, all the water signs, all the fire signs. I got earth in here as well. Some of y'all could also be dealing with, uh, some of you guys are dealing with air signs. If you're dealing with an air sign during this time, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I definitely feel like you're just fucking done. All right. I feel this person may want to put in the word, but Libra, you're fucking done. Okay. You're fucking done. Because you're tired of the internal fights. You're tired of the war that it actually creates within the damn self. But you can't even function straight. I'm over it. You're tired now. I'm tired. Some of you guys, are who are, for those of you who have new love that's an earth sign, Spirit is saying it is safe to move forward toward this person. This person is technically your good karma, baby. You deserve it. You deserve love. Spirit, why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Yeah. Some of you guys feel, <clears throat> some of you guys feel obligated to stay in relationships, possibly because you are a wife or a mother. Um, and for some of you all, you actually have financial ties or assets to another person. But I definitely feel like you're stuck because you're really not speaking your damn truth wholeheartedly. All, all straight shots, no chasers, baby. Some of y'all are stuck because you're not saying what you, you you're kind of dancing around the subject versus saying, look, motherfucker, I'm done, done. I'm unhappy. I Write me out the damn script. Find a new cast member. I'm done. Okay. You can't fix what's done. Why is the justice card here? Why is the justice card here for my Libras? Yeah. For some of you all, it could be releasing, again, releasing, finding out something, just 
this could, and for some of y'all, I'm hearing catalyst. So some of y'all could be dealing with a third party that was only a catalytic situation to help you, assist you in making a move. It's how you choose to look at it. Look at it as a get out of jail free card. <laughs> Why is the magician and the sun here? Yep. If you choose, wild card, baby. If you choose, this the damn, this, I don't know, I, I play spades. So in spades in the, in the dirty side, the dirty, dirty south, I'm whoop your ass. I just took all your cards with this one. Do you understand? For some of you all, this is a situation that's assisting you in transforming. This is divine intervention here, baby. It's fated. It's destined for this to occur. And for some of you all, it's releasing shit that no longer serves you. A person that you know ain't shit. They ain't shit. They ain't gonna be shit. And that last year they wasn't shit. Next year, the shit that they gotta fix may may require for them to for you to still let that shit go and go work on yourself. Time and peace is expensive. Those are the only two things that you can't get back. Think about it. The lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Yeah. For some of you all, it's about working. Yeah. Some of y'all are working on a relationship, working on uh, fixing a connection or working on a bond or some type of new connection, possibly with the earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This could be someone who you could have worked with in the past or you could currently work with this person. And that could be the conflict, you know. That could be the conflict of why y'all want to leave y'all job. I feel some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody who you work with. Our hell broke loose and it makes you uncomfortable, uncomfortable to have to see this person every day. And this is why new opportunities are arising for you. Take them. Run fast. Yeah, some of y'all are very... Some of y'all are going to find out that you were dealing with an... Um, with the Virgo, that it's just very, very indecisive. And in their indecision, it's kind of like they keep you in this place of illusion as if you're doing something wrong in order for them to have their cake and eat it too. Wake up, baby. Wake up from that place. You deserve more. You deserve better. You're a beautiful, divine being. You don't need that shit. Yeah. But some of you all, this tower is happening to move you forward to what it is that you're trying to manifest, what it is that you're passionate about. The only person that's going to stand in your way is you. Because ultimately, for some of you all, you want to reconcile with someone who you possibly could have dealt with in the past. However, there's internal conflict due to one person willing to put in the work. And I feel like this could also have to do with one person could have put in the work in the past. And now this person's like, fuck it. What you going to do for me? Because I've already been there, done that. And I, you already showed me what you're capable of. But guess what? Ultimate outcome is new love. All right? New love, new passionate opportunities. What is for you? So stop trying to hold on to shit that's not for you. If the shoe don't fit, you can't make it fit. You just got to go get them up because it's a goodwill and pray that they become good use to somebody else and that the other person knows how to treat them or, or, or knows how to take care of them a little better than what you did. Or for that matter, they learned their damn lesson to what to know not to know what not to do going forward. OK, so this is what I have for my Libras between the first. And the 15th of February, February. All right. If you need that personal reading, please hit me up again. Prices will go back to normal on the third. So if you want to wait it out to the third, like, Mocha, I don't want to pay no 30 minutes for $95, but I'll wait to the third and pay that 65. So be it. I love you, baby. I don't love you. No, look here. Say them coins. Mocha understands right now because I also need some coins. So don't, don't, don't worry. Don't fret. I ain't mad at you, baby. But if you do need a reading, hit me up, y'all. I love you so much. Much love. Much life. Many, many, many blessings to you all, y'all. Namaste. Bye, babies.